Let's go to the book of Joel, chapter 1, verse 1. The word of the Lord that come to Joel, the son of Petrol. Hear this, ye old man, and give ye year, all ye inhabitants of the land. Had this been in your day or even in the days of your fathers? Tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children and their children, generation under generation. That which the palmer worm has left has the locust eaten, and that which the locust has left has the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm has left has the caterpillar eaten. Awake ye drunkard, and weep and howl. All ye drunkards of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation is come upon my land, strange and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he had the cheek teeth of a great lion. He had led my van west and backed my factory. He had made it clean bar and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. Lament like a virgin, dreaded with sacrilege for the husband of her youth. The meat offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord, the priest, the Lord's minister's mom. The field is wasted, the land moment for the corn is wasted. The wine, the new wine is dried up and all ye languish it. Be ye ashamed, O ye house, husbandman, harrow, O ye van dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The van is dried up and the fat tree languished. The plum, plumgarnet tree, the palm tree also and the apple tree even all the trees of the field are weathered because joy is weathered away from the sons of men why is all this thing happening today upon we have the grace of the lord jesus the grace he has given to us by hanging at the cross of the calvary why all these things happening why all these rituals why all ministers are no more focusing upon the one that sent them. What is happening? Sisters and brothers, the Lord says we should arise, we should sit up. We should sit up and know the truth and let the truth set us free. God is still the same God, He has never changed. In Nigeria, a lot of things, rituals are making, ministers are taking human beings for ritual. Pastors killing their sons, killing their wife. What is happening? I'm sure it's not only in Nigeria. Young people breaking rules, armed robbery everywhere because there is no fear of God. 